Hi everyone, today I am making some keto sardine bites. I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com where I share keto and carnivore recipes and other cooking ideas. If you are new here, I hope you check out some of my other videos and my website. These things have helped me to lose over 130 pounds. If you are returning, welcome back and I hope you like today's video. Okay, today I am making a sardine recipe. Canned sardines. Now I know a lot of you are maybe thinking, ooh, ick. And I know a lot of you have some cans of sardines stashed away in your cupboard and you're saying, I just can't. I'm hoping that today's recipe will change your mind and you'll give it a try uh, because it might be a way that you can tolerate them. They're kind of like fish cakes. So if you like fish cakes, I think you're gonna like these. Um, I have done my best to make it as carnivore as possible. The only things that might be, um, you know, borderline are some Old Bay seasoning that I'm going to use. Um, so it really depends. If you're, if you're a purist, just use salt. You don't have to use this. Everything else is very carnivore friendly. Um, and this is a perfect recipe for getting in those omega-3s because sardines are packed with them. So let's go over the ingredients before we put it all together. You'll need two cans, and I think this is a pretty standard can size that's available in the stores. I'm using sardines in spring water. I'm going to drain them. Um, and uh, it says that the drained weight is 84 grams, and I'm sorry it doesn't say ounces because I buy these in Canada and everything is in grams. So, two cans. You're going to need one whole egg, some pork rinds ground up. Now, if you don't have the ones that are already ground up, you can grind, you just Get a bag of pork rinds, grind them up yourself. I'll link a video down below where I show three different ways to grind them up. And because we'll be measuring out a quarter of a cup of that. You will need some kind of mayonnaise. Now, yesterday I made myself some butter mayo, so I do have that. Now, during times when I don't have butter mayo, this is my second choice. Uh, it is keto mayonnaise and the ingredients are coconut oil with MCT, frozen egg yolk, water, vinegar, salt, mustard, organic rosemary extract. And no, it is not like carnivore. Um, so it's really up to you. I mean, make your own mayonnaise if, if you're uh, you know, sticky about that point. Uh, we're using four tablespoons of mayonnaise in this recipe, so. It's a choice if you don't have this. The other ingredient is, I'm going to use one teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning. Again, you don't have to. I feel for me, I can handle it and it makes, it, it just, it is more reminiscent of fish cakes when I use it. I think they'll taste delicious without it as well. Um, so let's get started. We're first going to mix up all the ingredients in here before making our bites. If you hear a bunch of noise in the background, the leaf blower people are here. We have leaves everywhere, so just ignore it. Okay, I have drained both these cans, so I'm going to Dump all the little fishies in here. You can also get boneless, skinless sardines. Um, but in this recipe, it's not going to matter. So you will maximize your nutritional benefits if you use the bones and the skin. And just mash it really well. Um, they're, very, they're very soft and they just blend right in. So before I add the other ingredients, I'm going to mash these as much as I can. I'm just using a fork. To me, these don't really taste any different with sardines than if I had chosen to make these, these like I would make tuna cakes or um, any type of fish cakes. 
So it's, a, it's actually a really good way to, you know, hide those sardines if you're not one, if you're not a person that can just eat them out of the can like I do. Okay, those are well mashed. I'm going to put my egg in here. And I'm going to use my butter mayo. You could use bacon mayo, or like I said, my emergency mayo. So four tablespoons or a quarter cup. And a teaspoon of this. Or like I said, just use salt or, you know, whatever you like. You might have your own favorite mix for things. I'm going to give them another mash. Now I have worked out the macros and the ratios already and these turn out to be about 73% per fat and uh, whatever the rest is. I forgot to 28, 27. I can't remember now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to do the math in my head while I mix this. 27. <laughs> so they're they're not quite 80, 20, but they're they're getting up there. And uh, I would make up the difference by adding a dip. And the other thing I wanted to say is, if you didn't have mayo, you didn't have butter mayo. I'm kind of thinking that sour cream would make a good carnivore alternative in here. I haven't tested that, but I don't see why it wouldn't. Okay, so that's all worked in. And our last ingredient is pork rinds. And I'm using a quarter cup. And I'm just going to work those in. I'm going to air fry them today. Now I imagine that you could fry them in a cast iron pan or like I would maybe, I'm making kind of round meatball type shapes. You could, I would flatten them if I was frying them in a pan, um, but that, that's up to you. And I kind of think you could probably bake them too if, if you don't have an air fryer. So I am going to get this started on air fry and I'm going to, you know, I'm trying to remember how long I did them for last time. I'm going to set it to 12 minutes and then check it. I've got my basket here. While that's heating up, I'm, I'm lining it with some parchment paper. And I'm going to, I'm hoping this kind of will give me a decent size bite. They don't have to be perfect. I'm just trying to make some even sized balls so that I know at the end when I work on my macros, I can kind of see okay, if I eat four of them, it's gonna be this much or whatever. I think, I'm, I think I'm going to probably use my fingers to tighten those up a bit. Don't worry, the sardines won't bite. I promise. So it looks like I'm going to get 10 out of this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, okay, I'm going to add them in in just a sec. I want to finish. I mean, they're, they're okay the way they are, but they just didn't flow out of my, my little spoon there like I was hoping, my ice cream scoop. But they're all a nice uniform size at least. Okay. Okay, so uh, I'm going to give that, well, I've set it for 12 minutes. I'm going to check it in a few minutes to see the progress. What should happen is those pork rinds that are in there should give this a little bit of crunch, I'm hoping. Um, I think it will. I mean, the last time I made them, it worked out pretty good. So see you back in the next segment. Okay, we're back. It's been 12 minutes. Ooh, look at these. 
they look so good. So it did make six, so it made 10. Um, now I have the macros here for half the recipe, which would be five bites. So I'm gonna put that on this plate and let it cool down while I tell you the macros and then I'm gonna do a taste test. I mean, I already know what they taste like, but anytime I don't do a taste test, people are saying, why didn't you taste it? So I'm gonna taste it. Okay, so I, I'm reading the macros here for this many bites, half the recipe. And for my purposes, I wouldn't eat more than this because I'm trying to restrict my um, protein to 30 grams maximum at one in one sitting, and this actually comes out to 31. So I mean, I'm not gonna be that picky for one gram. So the macros will be up here. Um, so this meal, well, I'll, I'll say that in a minute. So what you see here is 459 calories, 31 grams of protein, 38 grams of fat, zero carbs, and chronometer uh, tells me with the little pie chart that you'll see up there that it is 73.27. So 73% fat, 27% uh, protein in this meal. And what I would do is I would be adding a dip of some kind made with mayonnaise or sour cream or something that is fat. Um, like, you know, uh, if you're keto, you can make your own tartar sauce just with mayonnaise and chopped pickle. That would be really good. Um, but something along those lines, so something to dip them in, or just put your two tablespoons of butter there. That's what, that's what I would do, and then this would be a meal. Um, so, let's see if they are cool enough to give it a try. They look like they're going to be crunchy. I don't know if you can see. I'm gonna hold it closer up to the camera. It's those pork rinds. You know, I'm thinking these could even be, dare I say it, an appetizer at a buffet or something, hot appetizer. If you want to be daring, go for it. Just don't tell them it's sardines. Oh. Mm. Okay, take a look inside. This is so good. Um, don't add salt. These seem to be naturally salty and uh, could be, it could be the pork rinds, it could be the, um, the sardines, although I don't know, I can't remember if salt is added to the can. I'll have to take a look. Um, but they're plenty salty for me. The outside has a nice crunch to it, like, a, like a, not a big crunch, but a nice soft crunch. So you get this crispy, yeah, more like crispy crispy outside, soft inside. You cannot tell it's sardines. To me, it could be tuna. It could be any type of fish like that. They're delicious. I hope you tried them. So that is my sardine recipe to hopefully lure some more of you into the sardine fold. And uh, I hope you give it a try. We'll see you guys on the next video.